Thanks for clicking once again on my Ukrainian update. Just a few minutes ago, I listened to a message from a dear friend and he is helping people in Kiev. And he, in essence, said, please pray for me and my dad. We are buying some supplies, food, medicines, uh, from Western Ukraine, and we're gonna be driving to Kiev in order to give the help away. In many respects, this is one little story, and there's millions of stories right now. Stories of pain, suffering, but then more than anything, it's stories of pray for me, cover us in prayer. And I'm reminded of Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane. And Gethsemane is the Hebrew word for oil press. And in the pressing of Jesus in the garden, he asked his disciples, would you stand fast with me and pray for me? And the disciples are just like us. They fell asleep. But during this press, Jesus was being pressed from all sides. Even a trusted disciple was ready to betray him. The religious leaders were sending a host of Roman soldiers. But in the midst of that, in the midst of the pressing, the oil press on Jesus, our salvation was secured. Pray with me, please. Lord, we thank you that in the midst of betrayal, suffering, loss, you have your purposes that are being accomplished. I thank you for every Ukrainian who is not thinking about themselves or their safety but they're thinking about others who are suffering worse than them. And Lord, that's a beautiful example of what you did in the Garden of Gethsemane. You were thinking about others. You were thinking about redeeming, bringing salvation through your own death. And so Lord, we thank you. And Lord, I pray that the press the oil press that Ukraine is going through right now, Lord, will produce the fruit of salvation for others. Continue to protect Ukrainians, particularly as they try to serve others who are in need or who are suffering. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.